part of that information war after particularly after world war ii part of that information war was to cast the soviet bloc as unfreedom and to cast the west as freedom and they did it really successfully you know they used the word free as an adjective to describe everything they did which is the opposite of these societies but i'll tell you what i mean by opposite of these societies they said for instance we are radio free europe the word free is there radio free asia you know freedom foundation liberty foundation heritage liberty freedom this woman uh, forgotten her name who won the election in spain the mayor's election um what's her name um I, never mind uh, she uh, ran on a slogan communism or liberty you see it's the old cold war slogan communism or liberty and they kept hammering that over and over again saying look at them they are not free the problem is once they define the terms then the left had to from a position of defensiveness say no 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 you are not free you are not free what are you saying you are not free look you have racism there you have this but you are now accepting their terms you see by now starting to say no 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 actually you are not free you are the unfree world you're accepting their division and then you're finished then in people's minds it's now clarified that the west is free the rest of the world is unfree and even the critics of that binary use the same binary no no you are the one who's not free but you're accepting the terms of division you know and that's wrong because after all nothing is really free in your societies you have to buy everything with money why don't we have a different division rather than free and unfree we accept it and you lose then right it's a trap you enter that trap so very sophisticated way in which they say look you can do anything you want in our society you can if you have money the the issue in the west isn't you know that they necessarily jail you for your ideas they may not they don't actually jail you for your ideas because you are you are irrelevant you don't have money you know i mean look they they can they can get you like mumia abu jamal was not arrested for his ideas they accuse him of killing a police officer and they hold him for his life is one of the most intelligent people in the united states sitting in prison for decades but they don't arrest him for his ideas they arrest him they say you shot a police officer meanwhile down the street from him 100 people can have small little blogs in their homes saying united states is a kkk america spelled with kkk they don't get arrested because nobody reads the blog they don't have money they can't promote the blog so what is this freedom you talk about you understand once you enter the free and free you're finished you're finished you know you you've accepted their terms and then to create your own terms you can't just do it as a hallucination you need power you need power one of the grave limitations of the soviet experiment and eastern europe and so on is that they were terrible at information war they were not great at it um because you see in some ways they were too hamfisted in it they were not sophisticated this is a problem um you know uh, they they would come out there and say no 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 you are front page story uh the violence against you know people of african descent in the us south in the 1950s very important keep doing that look at cuba santiago alves right the filmmaker uh, nervous montage his film now where he just takes images of violence in the united states with a what is it eartha kit song or lena horn lena horn song which is we want liberation now that was clever that doesn't say no no you are not free it just says this is what you are this is what you are I, i'm just putting it there you know this is what you are but you still can't define them you still can't define them we're still in that problem today i'm not i don't come with a solution vanessa i, I don't want to be like oh here's a better idea no it, this is a balance of forces problem this is not a problem of how to better frame the problem you see they say free and free so no no let's do it in this clever way it doesn't matter we can but we don't have enough power you need to have political power behind your ideas otherwise they don't become hegemonic merely by having better ideas doesn't make you win just because you have a better idea the two of you can sit down in brazil and have a better analysis of what's going on in brazil but people will still vote for bolsonaro Look Bolsonaro is a genocidal maniac your country is in the 
hell of COVID, but his approval ratings still stay, seem quite high. People still approve of him because they don't live in Rio and, and Sao Paulo, maybe. Maybe they live in like those districts I visited once in Brazil, which look like the US Midwest. You know, they look like Ohio or whatever it is. They're long, flat roads with soybean fields and and these Brazilian cowboys, you know, with flat pickup trucks and, and they live in like suburban enclaves and they all happen to be sort of people of, you know, European descent. And they vote, they are Bolsonaro fans forever. Now, how to shift that? That's a class struggle. So that's what I'm trying to get at is that our redefinition of this is a, is a part of the class struggle. And as long as we are, we are weaker in the class struggle, in the correlation of forces, also our ideas, and this has been there for 60 years, guys, for 60 years. That's older than me. I have lived my whole life in a position where we've been on as the left on the back foot ideologically, despite the fact that the Soviet Union was there, then Eastern Europe was a communist state system and so on. Even then we were on the back foot because the West has had more power over, you know, instit institutions that promote a certain kind of ideological clarity. You know, we are free, you are unfree. The freedom of media index. Okay, this is smart. Um, World Journalist Press Freedom Day was May 3rd. Um, which is the countries with which are bad with media freedom? You know, they'll point to which countries, you know, they'll say this. But listen, what media freedom is there in the West? Because look, look, if you don't have money, you can't actually have an audience. 